What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is another Gray Zone Warfare video. It's going to be basically your day one guide for Gray Zone Warfare. Now that I've played, I've logged about 80 hours in the playtest, and I wanted to give everybody just the general things to look for, especially when you're playing the game for the first time, because it can get overwhelming pretty quick. So when you first start the game, update the game, get into the game, you're going to make your character, make your name. As far as I know, you cannot change this, so be careful. You're going to customize your character, and I would make him as green as you possibly can. You're going to select your faction, and then you're going to start. When you load into the game, there's a few things you need to do. You need to update your graphic settings. I already have a tutorial for this, and I'll put it down below. You need to mess with your keys, sensitivity. I've actually lowered mine quite a bit. But really, the only keys that I changed was quick map, boip, and crouch. The rest of their default settings are pretty good. Afterward, you need to walk around the fob. I wouldn't waste too much ammo in the firing range. It does deplete your ammo. Get a feel for the game. Make sure your frames are good with the settings that we provided. And then you need to hit escape or tab and accept your first task from the vendors. These should all be located in your starter area. Their name is going to depend on the faction you chose, but they're all copy and paste towns of each other. So it's the same thing. You need to read the tasks. Look at the coordinates associated with the tasks because you don't need to be going in there and running around in circles. The server should be full, and that means there's going to be a lot of people there that can help you, but that also means there's going to be a lot of crossfire and team killing, so just be careful of that. If you're struggling, I would do one mission at a time, one task at a time, and extract. There's no rush with this game. It's a tactical shooter, and you need to be careful even in the starter areas, man. It's not easy. After you've done a task or a few tasks, make sure you extract. You're going to turn in your tasks and the rewards are gonna be in your messenger. So go ahead and collect those. Along the way, if you're looking for extra money, I would be hitting cash registers and keeping gun parts to sell those and always try to get out with another gun to use or sell. There isn't a clear cut defined way on how to make money in this game, but that's what we had the most success with. Your food and water drain pretty quickly, especially your water when you're running around, but unless they change the spawn rates, there's plenty of that in the world so that you don't need to feel like you have to buy any of that stuff. You're going to find plenty of it. So when you get back to base, like I said, turn in your task, re-up, re-arm, make sure you're healed up and do it again. That's the basic loop, guys. And I would recommend not doing it alone. Maybe find some randoms in the fob, but we also have the collective. Make sure you join that below. It's in the description. Solid group of guys. Everybody knows what they're doing so far. So yeah, join that if you need some people to play with. We are uh, running Lamang Gang, LRI. So if you're LRI, definitely join that. But that's it for this video, guys. Look, I know it's pretty basic for those of you that might have played the play test or, you know, might be advanced. But for a lot of people, it can be overwhelming. So that's why I'm making this video. And if you did enjoy it, you know what to do. I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.